double entendres. And, and we're live. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Konbanwa, Mina. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't look behind the curtain, folks. <laughs> don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> Welcome, archaeologists. It is Sunday night, and that means it is time for the weekly dig. For anyone new to the stream, uh, this is a live show. We're digging the anime old and new. I am Brent. These are my fabulous co-host John Manwa. and Steve hello be Steve and John given the way this is all structured but you know um and we're gonna start our dig tonight um by oh I don't have a oh interesting hold on one second I need to change something uh I, I realized I did not have the right thing up um we're gonna start our dig tonight by analyzing the anime movie we all watched this week as always, spoilers lie ahead. We're going to talk about Space Runaway Ideon. Oh, baby. Space Otherwise known as Screaming Ideon. Burning Death Part 2. Exactly. Let me go ahead and it's space babies. Uh, <laughs> Make it space show you all a little bit here. See if this works. There we go. Um, which starts with a ruined hellscape. How appropriate for an Ideon movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so first off, if you, if, if this is your first time with this, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> this is the second Ideon movie. Backstory is original series came out. It had a problematic ending. Um, if you can call it an ending, things just kind of stopped, um, <laughs> with the TV show. And so they came back and they made two movies. The first sort of retells most of the, the original story, or really the first, like, 10 episodes or so. And then the second movie is just like, no, we're just going to redo the ending. We're, we're going to literally jump forward, like, 40 episodes and just jump straight to the ending. Um, actually, re-watching this, I was surprised. I didn't realize. Like, we get ha maybe half an hour to this movie, and we get to, like, the end of the TV series. Like, like most of this is a completely original ending, kind of, sort of. Um, so they basically tried to condense this one, like, really important episode of the anime <laughs> where he meets, um, um, oh, yeah, kitten into like 30 seconds. I yeah. was so, I was so confused when I watched it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, um, um, who is this? Mm -hmm. And it's an important conversation that yes. they're having, mm -hmm. right. And there's no context at first. You, you, you no. figure it out after a while, but you know it's just like, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Who are we and where are we? Are we? Yeah, it's and, like, and, mm -hmm. and why does everyone look beat up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So in the original TV series, like they they've gone on a whole bunch of adventures. They finally found another colonized planet. Where they can kind of rest for a second. Um, of course, Buff Clinton shows up, and meanwhile, um, Amuro with an Afro here. Um, our friend Cosmo has found a little friend, um, and he actually starts this little relationship with, with Kitten, um, which, which is bound has... to go well. Right? Exactly. Yes. Because it always goes well. because because yeah. idiot it always goes well. Um, Everybody's happy and normally adjusted. It's great. Yeah, totally. Um, <clears throat> and so we get this this we did a really nice little moment between the two of them where they you know have a little a little moment. Uh, and then we literally like smash cut to them running away from a uh, from from an attack and getting vaporized. <sighs> yeah. Um, and we get the iconic moment where Cosmo watches the head of his girlfriend fly past his visor. Literally, just woo. Um, and then does the you know why must we fight title screen. So yeah, I didn't have a lot of love in this first like <laughs> these first yeah. few minutes of this. Or I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, uh huh, Tomino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what were your guys' reaction to this like scene? <laughs> Hellish? Oh, not happy. Uh, <laughs> so, deeply disturbed at who this was and why she died. They obviously were connected. I have no idea what's going I, on. You know, they're having oh, the conversation God. and they're having an argument. I'm like, okay, this is kind of important. I'm not sure why they're here. Blah, 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 blah. Explosion. I, I, oh, my. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, wait. And, of course, it was just like, you know, the one image. You you, you mm -hmm. 
go yeah. back in reverse and you go, did I really see that? Put in slow motion. There goes yep. the head. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Thank it's you. Not a, it's Thank not you a very now. satisfactory kind of No. Because, I mean, I'm sure the buildup to Cosmo and Kitty's mm-hmm. relationship yeah. is probably, you know, gives you some sense of, like, tragedy in this. As opposed right. to confusion and sort of it, not irrelevant questions, but questions that are not as heartwarming when you're like, wow, her head survived the explosion pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not yeah. typically how you're supposed to react at this moment. It's supposed to be much more heartrending of, oh, no, yeah. he was building a connection to her and she's dead. No. Oh, her head's not burned. <laughs> <laughs> and in fairness, this movie was made for the, you know, 30,000 Ideon fans in Japan in 1982, whatever it was. Yeah. Who were like, give me a better ending. So they all came in thinking, oh, good. We get to see, the, you know, yeah. kitten. That's, that's great. We get a moment with kitten. So it just, <laughs> a moment. Does not, a moment. Yeah, moment. A literal moment. Um, but like, they all knew this was coming. They all are ready for this. So <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, it just does not play for non bad audience. Yeah. The inside joke wasn't with all of us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing um, to lose your head over, though. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, <sighs> then we get this, I will admit, kind of nifty credit sequence with little panels, kind of with the, the various moments so far in the story and kind of yes. catching you up on what's going on. I kind of like that. Um, we get the idiot blowing up lots of stuff, which I'd like to do. Um, and we get to watch it kind of play it in half. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I guess is kind of you know setting the stakes pretty well. Well, again, also telegraphing the fact that it's like the 30,000 people who are specifically this film is made for, they're sitting there going, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. The rest of us are going, Planet, uh-huh. what, what, was that? What, <laughs> what planet was that? And yeah. do we care about the sentient life on that planet? It, no, yeah, it's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no we, we we don't care. It's, it's all gone. No, once we figure out that they're all going to be naked space babies, it doesn't yeah, matter. yeah, it's it's just, just, um, you can skip forward. So <laughs> speaking of skipping forward, um, <laughs> we then get basically, in in fairness, a lot of sort of connective tissue, of kind of setting up what's what's going on here, uh, and we basically jump to the end of the the TV series. Um, where um, Kerala and I forget his name. Um, Bess. Is that Bess? <clears throat> I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the guy, she, the, the father of the child, space baby. Yes. No, no. The, no, the, no, no this is no, not the father no, of the no, space no, baby. Oh, oh, oh. No. Yeah. This, yeah, this is her one dad. Of the guys. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. The, the blonde guy she's with. Oh, the dude she got, ca- she got captured with. Yeah, who, who's she going escaped with. Her. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There are a thousand characters in the show. Yes, um, and they but, all die. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so they get on the ship and we get an actual confrontation between her and her father, which does not go well. Um, <laughs> surprise, surprise. And remind how everyone how the TV TV uh, series ends. Yeah. I, I, I can show that, actually. Um, I, I, I have that queued up here. <coughs> Just a um, black screen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, there you go. <laughs> um, but point being, what this is establishing is that the Buff Clan is stuck in its ways. You know, there, there's no compassion there. There's no right. flexibility there. Yeah. Um, this is not going in. You know, basically, for the entire show, they've basically been saying, if we could only just sit down and talk with the Buff Clan. Uh, we could stop all this, and it shows no. <laughs> That's not going to work either. Uh, okay, I got again. I sort of understand what it's there for. We have the rather hilarious um, laser um, uh, thing with her, where she yeah. pulls out, you know, basically a um, uh, a laser level. It looks like an eight track. With it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an eight track. I was going to um, say a, a very advanced iPhone. No. Yeah, <clears throat> um, and threatens her father with it. It's like I'll, I'll burn a hole in you. And they went off and she's like, it's good thing you didn't know that was a laser level. Um, <laughs> I, I did appreciate that. But um, um, but yes, again, um, effectively, um, this ends, unlike the TV <clears throat> series, with them all getting away um, from the main Buff Clan thing and, uh, and flying off. And um, um, from there, 
Um, Kasha does not have a great day. She's slipping. She yeah. she starts losing it. She starts mm-hmm. her tenuous yeah. grasp on reality just keeps slipping. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting about this sequence and what she does, she gets really focused on Lou because of course Lou is like you know has been made clear is kind of the key to all this. Yes. And she's like, okay, so let's let's address it. Let's and let's like take Lou out and actually like offer it to the idiot to see if that will actually like effing stop something. Um, so like you understand the logic of what she's trying to do, um, but the doing of it is remarkably stupid. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, because like, she's right. She's like, look, this is what activates you. Here you go. Stop all of this in the name of the innocent child. Um, and again, it doesn't end well for anybody. Um, Literally. Um, exactly. Um, <laughs> and what's funny is, again, it works in a sense, right? Like the the NA power, the, the, the NA gauge gets max power. They blow everything up. Um, they also blow up Kasha. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> um, and, I'm not uh, going to say that I was terribly sad by that. No. <laughs> um, because, like, when you're out there, you know, screaming in your spacesuit in space to take the baby, it's kind of like, oh, you man, okay. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do anything good from here on out. It's yeah. all, if you survive this, it's all going to be like complete lunacy for you for the rest yeah. of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys can try to, John and Chad. They build up real good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. All over for them, but surprise, her spirit appears and flies off into space, which might be the first time we've seen this in Indian. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, Nobody else getting killed drastically is is shown to be yeah. flying off in spirit form. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, so that, was, that was kind of interesting. Um, and then uh, we we get some. Buff clan internal politics with Ugh. this confederate group, confederacy group that they're like getting their funding or their I don't know I, uh, uh, was it the Ome group or something that he's yeah. like working with was just like the being, science science Ome group and then they're I don't know they're, yeah, yeah. Um, it, and, it's and, a and consolidation it, of power of some sort yeah. yeah and it's clearly you know Japanese government working with the military industrial complex kind of a you know, yeah, reference right. there. Um, but it just kind of felt like didn't need that for the movie. <laughs> Seemed like an unimportant detail. Um, um, then, as if this weren't enough, the NA force decides to wipe out Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, yeah. movie. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Well, I mean, we are wrapping things, you know, tying yeah. the little bows, dotting the I's, mm-hmm. crossing the T's. So wipe out Earth. That's part mm-hmm. of the agenda. Okay, cool. Here we go. Moving on. Exactly. Um, they also wipe out Buff Clan Earth. Yeah. Um, and the Emperor. Okay, I guess. And I find it interesting that the Buff Clan forces don't know about this just yet. Right. Like their their home world. Mm-hmm. And Yeah. At this point, I gotta tell you, if I found out if I was on the Idion ship or, or mm. uh, the Ford Ford Life or whatever the hell the thing's called, mm. and I find out, oh, Earth has been wiped out, that's when I kind of go, you know what? Anyway, we just go hyperspace that way and just say yeah. down with it and just go and just leave. Well, that is indeed the problem. Is that every time they try to yeah. do that, the buff crane yeah. just comes after them? Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> it's like. Uh... There's nowhere to run to that the Buff Clan won't follow them and then yeah. keep causing trouble. Yeah, and it's obviously not the solution to be like, "Well, just take the idiot. We're just we're done with you and with this whole mm-hmm. thing. We're going to fly off this way." You know, the Buff Clan ain't going to let that happen either. Yeah, like oh. mm-hmm. it, it's a it's a bad situation all around. Um, one thing I, I do like about this is the those occasional thoughts of kind of what's going on. Like, there's the moment when they're um, um, activating their ultimate weapon. And they yeah. fire it, and they're like, and so it'll actually explode in 30 minutes, right? Right. Because it's going across vast amounts of space to actually hit the planet. And so it's not, you know, you fire a thing, and then it just blows up. It's like there's, you know, <laughs> space-time <Right>. exists. <clears throat> like, thank you. That, that, I appreciate that. 
Um, um, but yes, um, people don't really know that um, Earth's gone for a little while. Uh, and so we get some, again, just kind of some, some more back and forth fighting, blah, 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 blah. Um, um, this is the point at which um, Kerala realizes that the life inside her is reacting to Lou somehow. Right. Um, great there's, great there's, choice of name for your kid, too. Oh, Messiah? Messiah, yeah. yeah. She literally names her kid Messiah. Um, it's pronounced Jesus. No, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> oh. Um, well, yeah, how, how, the, how baby in utero is friends with baby Lou. I just, yeah. Uh, that's just, mm, I, I don't, I, yeah. Yeah. And, and again, in fairness, it's one of those things where I'm sure in Japan, it doesn't come across as goofy as it right. does in, in, uh, over here. Yeah. In your kid Messiah, but whatever. Um, you know, it's better than naming your 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 kid uh, Eve in time of Eve. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, people you, you attack each other and and keep attacking each other and and die. Shots to the face. Shots to the yeah. face. Dying. Um, people just keep dying. People just everywhere. keep dying. Um, uh, so, and this is the point where, oh yeah, and so then, and I actually kind of like the sequence where everyone gets kind of reunited briefly, and we get a little moment between Cosmo and, um, gosh, I'm getting her name again, um, not Sarah, um, his girlfriend, girl. Come with me, Sarah, if you want to live. Um, gosh, yeah, I can't remember her I'm, name I'm pull, Yeah, this is, this is horrible. I just rewatched this today. Um, oh, Wow. Um, and I can't remember any of these names. Um, <clears throat> it's Russian, right? It was a Russian name. Kasha? Um, no. Kasha. No, that, no, I think that was uh, it, actually. Yes, Kasha. Thank oh, you. Hey, yeah, I remember the thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and they, they actually get a little, a little moment where they, you know, there's, there's a little potential between the two of them, which is rather nice. Um, you know, most mecha series do not actually do that. <laughs> So thank Most you. Mecha series us don't kill everybody. <laughs> uh, um, it, it, it's also they can die later, right? That, that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, pretty much. Um, and then I, and I do have to um, admit, I, I do think this was good symbolism when they try to kiss and the the technology yes. literally gets in the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, ah, I see what you're saying there. You know, we, we literally cannot connect because of this technology that is, you know, keeping us apart. Um, yeah, then m more attacks, more fights, more battles. I admit, like, like Tomino has talked about the difficulty of the Battle of the Week formula and how that restricts storytelling, and that really, it really feels like that a lot in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it does. It, I mean, in this movie, one of the things that not bother me, but but one of the things that that kind of held the movie back to me was the fact that there was just it just doesn't stop like the yeah. fighting and and after a while you, you it's not that you get bored with it but you're just like mm -hmm. <sighs> it's like Genshin you know okay I gotta slog through this thing mm -hmm. to get to the thing that I want to mm -hmm. see and you know it's just yeah. kind of that slog that you go through like like in regular Gundam and Mobile Suit Gundam. It was relentless in so far that there was a lot of fighting and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. it, it but there were moments between the fights where while it was still tough, still mm -hmm. somewhat relentless, there was not that going yeah. on constantly. Mm -hmm. right. And in Ideon, it's just like it's literally it's just like every five seconds you're just like, yeah. okay, I get it, war is hell, but after a while you're just like, <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. fine, fine, yeah. another battle, fine. But I mean, and that's that, you know, as you're saying, war is hell. That's, mm. I, I can appreciate the sort of, you know, the kinetics of it. That's like, war doesn't just stop. You have a monologue, you have a dialogue, you have right. a moment here. And yeah. then all, you know, then you just go back and there's war. It's like, mm -hmm. I, I get that. But yeah, it's kind of tedious when it's like, you can't get any like solid exposition out of anything yeah. because like everything is on fighting fire, dying mm -hmm. all the time, everywhere. So it's like, clipped bits of this and a little bit of that mm -hmm. then a few moments of this then a little yeah. bit more and then it's just it's just, you're juggling it all at the same time I'm like ah. Brad Bird talked about when he's been about it too that animators have this tendency to want to make every shot shine 
and make their shot be just amazing. He said, but if, if all the shots in, in the movie are amazing, the audience can never catch their breath. You know, right. there needs to be quiet moments. There needs to be, you know, back and forth. And yeah. it's very much how this feels. I feel like there's, there's just constant action, constant things going on. It also doesn't help with the fact that because the Ide force is mysterious, what exposition we get is people going, the Ide gauge is moving. I wonder why. I don't know. Action. You know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> there's not a lot of any no one knowing what anything is going on. This means something. What does it mean? <laughs> By the end of the series, I still don't know what it means. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, crazy doctor research lady, like her mm -hmm. team was supposed to, you know, be researching this when they found, dug up the the, the mm -hmm. Indian fire trucks, and <laughs> they never really get anywhere. I mean, right. even uh, going and using Deep Think or whatever the heck the computer mm -hmm. they tried to link in with, it's like they never got an answer, and it's like, and then they just right. stopped trying to figure it out. Yeah. But the gauge is moving, the gauge, something's happening, Baby Lou's somehow connected to this. We're like, well, that's hardly scientific to go outside and be like, here mm. you go, giant space <laughs> space robot god, have the baby. Like, boy, mm. you've just thrown science the hell out the window, didn't you? I mean, it's like when she well, said to me, I, I almost felt like saying, so when am I going to hear the, the word, God word, ball? You know, mm, offering up yeah. a baby, like, you know, yeah. the, you know, the Carthaginians. In yeah. fairness, John, she had a hypothesis. And she was testing her hypothesis of <laughs> science. It's a scientific method. It's a scientific horribly, method of insanity. Wrong. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so. Oh, yes. and then, here we come to one of my favorite parts of the whole mm -hmm. Uh Kerala and her sister having her their little tete-a-tete. -tete. Yeah. Uh. So you remember in the beginning of all of this. Mm -hmm. Kerala meets the one little girl who's like kill, who killed her, yeah, her her, her friend boyfriend, um, mm -hmm. not not boyfriend, but the, the girlfriend, yeah, yeah, the 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 attendant, yeah, attendant, yeah, yeah, oh, oh yeah, 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 all right, and so Kerala says, okay, shoot me, you know, mm -hmm. basically I deserve it, fine, go ahead, shoot me, and the scene doesn't play out, you know, the girl, you know, doesn't do it, and mm -hmm. you know, whatever, and we move on from that. You get the same exact scene with her sister, mm -hmm. and you're just and she's just like, sister, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to protect the baby inside of me. If I have to kill mm -hmm. you, then that's what I'm gonna do. And you figure there's gonna be that moment of oh, you know, the gun wavering. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she gets three shots to the face. Yep. yep. To the mm -hmm. face. Yep. The face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you get to watch her reaction. Yep. As she's getting shot. Yep. Yep. And she's yeah. like, oh crap, it did, it did oh, this did, doesn't work again. Oh, did she just do that? Did she just yeah. shoot me in the face? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. she did. did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that was that, that now that was now it's not like we didn't know that all these people were gonna die, right? Mm -hmm. At this point. But it's still jarring to go, well, not only was she a major character that got three shots to the face, mm -hmm. she was pregnant and she got three shots yep. to the face. And then you have the whole weirdness that happens after that, where everyone's just like, the baby's still okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do we know this? How does mm -hmm. this? Did the idiot, is that what the idiot gauge is for? Oh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, 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 baby's okay. <laughs> baby's okay. It's like a giant eight ball, yeah. right? You know, the baby's okay. Medical science. Who needs that? We have this E day power. What's it do? We have E day power. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, and so at the end we'll get into what the force I think represents because I think that's that's a right. whole other conversation. Uh, um. Anyway, so yes, bad things happen. Um, really bad things happen. <laughs> happen. Um. So then, at this juncture, know... does anything good happen? Is there anything no, good at the end no, of this film? <laughs> like... No. No. Oh, oh! You um, should cut back to that very cute girl with the ponytail inside the. Yeah, she's so mm -hmm. adorable, isn't she? Oh, lock on great. that face, great folks. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Look, lock in on that face, mm -hmm. folks. Yep. You'll see um, why she plays uh, in the heart. Yep. Um, I'm gonna try not to show the actual like frame. Um, <laughs> Let's just say she played duck, duck, goose, and she missed the part about the duck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, then again. Sort of in fairness to the Buff Clan, we do get a scene between um, the head of the Duck Clan and Casilia Zabi here, and <laughs> um, where 
he's like, you know what? This is dumb. Like, we should not be doing this. Like, I, I'm realizing now what's going on, what the NA Force is doing. Like, we need to stop. And she's like, you can't. You know, you're the head of the head of the Buff Clan military, basically. You know, this is going to keep on going. Everyone's going to keep on going. You know, we're you're stuck here. Um, so again, I, I kind of want to give Tomino credit for the fact that he does show the alien side of things and how they're seeing what's going on and how they're not just you know pure evil. Yeah. Um, but still, everyone dies. Um, it's, and it's still great that she has such a wonderful relationship with her father, father. Yeah. and yep. she can have these conversations, even mm. though he wishes that she hadn't been born a woman. Yeah, yeah. there's there's some um, <laughs> gender politics here that uh, mm-hmm. I'm not going to gonna dig into, because, yeah. oh boy, um, anyone yeah. who's planning on writing a senior thesis, here you go. Yeah. 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 Here, here's your thesis right here. Yep. Um... Um, Are you sure you don't want to show that one soon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and so basically, they you know the, the big end of the, end of the movie is that the um, the Buff Clan has this giant. I can uh, uh, shot of it here somewhere. Um, that's their their wide shaped spaceship. Um, nah, whatever. Um, they have this giant machine that they're trying to lure. The solo ship and the Ideon two, which will annihilate them, um, and it's a colony laser from Gundam, basically, right? It, it's that right. dead, yeah. Um, and so um, the Ideon is being drawn closer and closer to it, inevitably, of course. Um, and this is the final battle. Um, um, I do appreciate when. Um, guy from Ome Foundation, whatever, just keeps, you know, yapping at the uh, at the head, head of thing, and he just goes, bang! And just yeah. all what he's doing. <laughs> um, like, no, this is insubordination. We're down here. Um, but, um, yeah. That's the time. <clears throat> um, Kasha goes down, uh, trying to defend the ship. And she had such a pretty face. She had such a pretty face. Yeah, um, don't lift the blanket. She had such a pretty face. It, oh, oh, that line hurts. Oh. Yeah. Um, Lock in on the cute girl. Lock on the cute girl. Uh-huh. She'll, she'll be fine. Um, she, she's perfectly okay. Nothing bad happens at her at all. Exactly. No. Can you hear the sarcasm? They're children. Uh, Nothing bad happens to kids in this no, film. Anime, anime wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> so, point being, um, the buff clan starts actually entering the solo ship. Um, right. you know, they get on board. Um, fight, fight, fighting is happening. Um, and um, um, I, I can't pause on the on the shot because it contains nudity, but um, we, we also get confirmation that Karala actually dies. Um, so her, her body is no longer just sort of kept alive in some way to keep, you know, Messia um, alive. Yeah. She's she, she's done, yeah. Um and then oh oh yeah. oh oh yeah oh. um there's a scene oh my yeah the scene i had to watch several times over again yeah. like what yep. mm-hmm. uh-huh. um war is hell and people die i'll put it that way yep yeah mm-hmm. and so you know we can always imply that people die we can always imply because you mm-hmm. know war is hell and, and we do know that children die you know yeah and we can mm-hmm. certainly imply that cute children such as this little girl dies we mm-hmm. can imply those things. We don't need yeah. to see those things. But you know what? Damn it! This is space runaway idiot being voted. So mm-hmm. you get to see it. Yep. All the cards right. are on the table. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Nothing um, is implied. No. Nope. No. No. It is very clear what happened there. And um, your and your mind will not go. Oh my God! It took her head clean off. She's five. No, your mind goes. I didn't see that. Right, and yeah. you have to rewatch no, exactly. it uh-huh. a few exactly. times yep. to make sure that you actually saw what you saw, mm-hmm. and then and, the here, you, and then you realize I watched this thing five times to watch a little girl, five year old girl, get her head blown off. And here's the hell of it: imagine being in theaters, right? Yeah, well, you see it once, you're like, "What? What did did And I could just see everybody in the theater just going, "Did, that, did you? <laughs> hey, projection sky, can you? Yeah. Can you? <laughs> One more yeah. time. 
We're not yeah. sure we actually saw that. Well, that's what I told you guys the first time I saw it. I was just like, yep. I, she must have, like, she was, she, she turned, right? That was just mm -hmm. like, she, she turned to the side. Right. I, I just missed it. I, mm -hmm. I just, you know, yep. that couldn't, they wouldn't here. do that. Yep. <laughs> like, oh, God, tell me yep. I would. Yep. <laughs> oh, Same God. here. I had to go back a couple times. And in, in fairness, like, it's framed that way. It's framed to, so like, blink and you miss it because it's just yeah. like, well, right. maybe I'm just not seeing something there or whatever. Nope. Yeah. Um, so be ready for that. And, 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 and just mm. this one last parting thought on that particular scene. After the beam cannon goes off and off goes mm. her head, the reason why you realize that you may have seen something awful is because her body just stands there for a moment. Yeah. Before it falls. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And you're just like, oh, wait, did they forget yeah. to draw her head on the cell sheet? Oh, oh God. No. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. At least it was quick. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes. There, um, there, sure. There. Good <laughs> part of it. Uh, um, and so, yeah, folks on ship are getting picked off one by one. Um, uh, you know, folks are dying. There is actually a coup, finally, by the Buff Clan. Right. Um, which, kind of Doesn't impressively, really succeeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Point out. Um, but to, to your point, it doesn't matter at all. Um, because now it's time to actually, you know, fire the gun and destroy everything and blow everything up. Um, which they do. Um, and here's where I stopped showing clips of Space Hunter Yes. Um, because you have uh, to. Yes. <laughs> because YouTube will not allow me to show all of the glowy anime space nudity that is the last. 10 minutes of this movie? Yeah, I was going to say, it's not right. something that's like fleeting that happens. Yeah, like, it's five five seconds. Like seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like there's entire scenes where you get to see what's his name, junk, and you're just like, mm -hmm. we, we can we can stop. We can we can stop. Please, for the love of Gimli, stop. Stop, please. No. Oh, God. This is going on. It's not stopping. But the good news is that you get to see that everybody, the whole thing's yeah. resolved. Mm -hmm. Nobody's left well, behind. When Every, everybody's dead. Did it? <laughs> well, they're all dead. So therefore, there's nobody True. left behind. There's nobody that's like out there True. suffering in deep space. True. No, everyone True. is entirely annihilated. Mm. Isn't that a good ending? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, wow. When everybody gets together, everybody's happy. We get to see Kitten again. Yes. True. Yep. We do. Mm -hmm. we, we get, and we get a little bit more of, of naked space kitten and mm -hmm. sp naked space ca uh, Kasha and mm -hmm. and unconscious naked space Cosmo. True. Because you know that's what we want to see. And mm -hmm. and you know the conversations of like, oh, we're all together now. We're going to go off and populate the planet. Except for those two guys that just went. Well, I'm here just because I don't want to be lonely anymore. Yeah. I was just like, God, that was sad. That was so yep. sad. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Naked space babies and every Okay. Got mm -hmm. it. And we're going to find a new... Oh, got it. Okay. Whatever. Um, yeah. Th th there are plenty of girls to go around. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but no. And so, yeah. The point being, everyone um, dies, but they all get sort of reborn, you know... Um, somewhere else sort of kind of but that's not the end of the movie nope no but wait <laughs> and we go through we get, this like, whole thing yeah weirdly like post pop processed live action footage of like oceans and oops yeah. um oceans, oceans and three guys and what? things going I mean, on it was there. almost as if they were trying to recreate that one scene from 2001 Almost. I don't know. This doesn't look to me, you know, anything like 2001 sort of imagery. No. Um, rebirth okay. space baby? No, not at all. Rebirth. This doesn't seem like 2001 at all. Not no. in the least. You know, no. planets cresting each other. Uh -uh. No, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Um, and then, yeah, the... the, the Souls raining down on some planet, apparently. Um, what is flashing? You know, 480p webcam footage of an ocean. Okay, yeah. sure, fine. Um, it's a very weird ending. It's certainly, very like you know, dude, kind of an ending. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, there, there are definitely mm -hmm. things to uh, to 
to have ingested beforehand to make this a, a, a more entertaining experience. Yeah. Oh, I, I can oh. sort of appreciate the artistic element of it. Be yeah. like, ah, it's how our planet might have started. You're like, no, nah, no, probably, <laughs> probably pretty no. sure the naked space mm -hmm. baby probably wasn't. That's not how that happened. But okay, yeah. you know, cool. I, I respect your choices, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And there's like operatic music going on mm -hmm. in the background. And, yeah. and folks, it doesn't go on for like 30 seconds. It goes on for like a while. Mm -hmm. And then it ends and you're just like, I, uh, oh my God. <laughs> I would have preferred the ending if it had the rain of like the souls down again. And then like a cut scene that just said, and thus rose the crab people. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crab people. <laughs> like, yay. But no. We just get artistic shots and negative of ocean stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, I guess. Huh. <sighs> the budget ran out. Quick, throw it. Slam it some, <laughs> some live action video of the freaking ocean. Uh. That's the weird thing about this movie. Like, I don't hate this movie. No, no. I don't think this movie was a bad idea. You know, I don't think this right. movie was um, poorly conceived. I don't think the movie was. Um, like a slow well it was a slog to get through like we were talking about with, with the, the non-stop action yeah but like there was definitely progression to it there was definitely kind of a logic to how things were going along and there was clearly a um a point to all of it you know the, the war is hell we're gonna actually put you through hell yeah thanks for the thanks for the ride yeah <laughs> exactly um can you imagine this as a roller coaster ride yeah <laughs> Uh, like the tooth, tooth <laughs> chipper or the whiplash or matic. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing, like, by the end of this, I was just like, I'm, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and not in a an uplifting way, not in a wow, I've been on on a, on a on a huge ride and I have like lots to think about. Right. It just felt just like I felt like I buy I checked the box. Honest to God. Yeah. I just was. I felt like I've been doing through Hell Week. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Like, like here, here is this torture we're going to put you through to see if you can stand it. And now you've gone through at the end. You don't have anything to show for it. You just experienced it. First rule of space, of uh, space runaway idiom. We don't talk <laughs> don't about talk space, space, space runaway, space runaway idiom. idiom. I, um, I, I, again, I can totally respect the, the, the process and the, and the thought behind it. I really have a lot of notes at how you probably could have like worked this somewhat yeah. better. Such as. But then, uh, I just I, more time with kitten again. You know, mm -hmm. this is yep. made for thirty thousand totally. people who already know what's going on. It's like this is a self-contained film. There's so much going on in the background mm -hmm. of it that there's just no explanation for. Yeah. That I, if I was to sit back down and you said, okay, here's the broad framework and here's the broad <clears> story, I feel like I'd have to go in and be like, okay, uh, hate to do this. This film's going to have to be somewhere around five and a half hours. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna click mm -hmm. in some of these parts. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna now like remove some of the immediacy of the all the fighting all the time to give us some quiet, reflective moments that we can mm -hmm. like engage a little bit more with this character, that we can understand a little bit more of their relationship. Yeah. That blah 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 blah. And it's like, but you know that yeah. that was not how this was done. I'm not mm -hmm. here so, to remake Space Runaway Idiot. Sure, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. well, you know I mean? It's just that kind of thought of like, there's so much more I could have asked mm -hmm. to explain, but mm -hmm. this indeed absolutely wrapped up Space, Space Runaway Idiot. Yes, <laughs> yes. Absolutely it is up. over. Uh, yes, it is yeah, done. So, <laughs> so when I watch this, knowing that I'm not watching the series, mm -hmm. you know, that's that <clears throat> if you're going to watch this mm -hmm. and just know that if you haven't watched a television series, there are going to be things that are going to be lost to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you just have to roll with that. Like mm -hmm. the whole thing with Kitten. Um, I don't think the animation was bad in any way, in any, mm -hmm. any stretch of imagination, no, but, no. you know, for the yeah. time period that was made in. Absolutely. So, you know, and, and, you know, to the point of, you know, the combat scenes, while there was <laughs> a little bit too much, <laughs> um, they were done well. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, these are so there are things about Ideon that you know, these are conceptual visuals that are done well, mm -hmm. and you know, so you can get it and grasp it on, on that on that level. And but if you have to be a fan of the TV show to watch it, that takes away a lot of it mm -hmm. now. And 
to your point, John, one of the things I was as thinking about as you were talking about, this is going to have to be five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. It's like the, was it the Snyder cut of the <laughs> Justice mm-hmm. League movie? You know, it's like four yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Mobile Suit Gundam Origins mm-hmm. went over, what, two or three parts, I think. Yeah. Two parts, actually. And, um, and that gave you the story that you needed to have. But they definitely said, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. We're not condensing this in the 90 minutes. Or two mm. hours, whatever it was, mm. where you know this, you know we're gonna, you know, broaden this to make sure you get the point, get everything mm-hmm. to it. So it's um, it's not something that it, this is something I would recommend with with caveats, right? You know, just you know, just understand mm-hmm. that there are going to be parts of this that are going to frustrate you. Mm-hmm. Is it worth watching? I think in context of this of historical anime. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. As um, a Saturday night, hey, I'm I'm gonna watch something on Netflix. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to watch. Mm-hmm. It's three like- <laughs> a.m. Three a.m. Anime. No. Do you like no. Do you like anime? No. I don't really know anime. Try watching Space Runaway Idiot the movie. Oh, and, and one thing that <laughs> probably I not something not, I'm gonna recommend. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I will absolutely not recommend that you drink malt liquor. Before or during, definitely because not. you're just no, going to no. start throwing things. Anger, just anger, anger, Pure anger, anger. Rage. rage. John in chat um, uh, is absolutely right. It's a bit like Serenity, the Firefly movie. Yes. Um, so if you know that movie, you know that it is essentially a final episode of Firefly. It right. can be watching the standalone movie, but it's really you know it's got all these characters in it that are that are well established at the be- before the beginning of the movie. So it's you know. It's really there for people who are familiar with with the show more than just average sci-fi fan to watch the movie. Right. Um, Gotcha. um, I would say it would be interesting. I'm not going to do this, but it would be an interesting experiment to go back, watch Ideon, watch the episodes of Ideon that made up the first movie. So watch all that material. Jump to the episode with Kitten, Kitty, and then watch Be Invoked. I think that would actually be a cohesive story because you'd have all that back stuff, that, that background. Mm. Yeah. And you'd have some connection to her to make her death like yeah. significantly meaningful, not just curiosity oh, as part of the plot. Oh, oh, look, her head. Look at that. Right. Oh, wow, look at the animation of that, the reflection on his visor. <laughs> wow. Oh, and I just bought her wow. a hat. Oh. <laughs> um, apparently, there's another YouTube video with the title Space Runaway Idion is a Lovecraftian horror anime. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't agree, but I see where they're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what do you think the point of Idion is? Like, like the franchise, the story. Like, what is, what is Tomino trying to say with this franchise? Other than everybody dies? Uh, <laughs> huh. I think War is Hell is definitely mm-hmm. a, a thing. I, there's got to, I mean, it, it feels like that our differences are only sort of on the surface. Mm-hmm. That the, the buff clan doesn't know how to engage the earthling humans Mm -hmm. the earthling humans don't know what to do about the buff clan and nobody even though we're structurally similar nobody's willing to sit down and dialogue like fighting is the immediate answer to it war is is the answer it's you know an accidental first shot Mm. erupts this entire thing that destroys both civilizations yeah and it's just like okay you know is it feels to me like is that one of the messages that like by dialogue yeah we can Mm -hmm. we can solve things yes and i would say i completely agree and i think it's it's also not just dialogue it's open-mindedness of the folks involved in dialogue of being willing to talk make concessions etc and not just say well okay i'll sit down at the table no you have to actually be willing to be committed to the process of not just talking but talking substantively yeah um so as and maybe I, a, 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 a human fear of strange, large fire truck robots. I mean, yes. that could also be the message, I guess, maybe. Mm-hmm. 
So after going through this slog of uh, mm. a couple of movies and, and this thing, um, you know, I, I, you know, obviously talking about um, if you just a kind of just think through things before you do something because that's mm. pretty much how this all started. Is Carla pretty much it's her fault? <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, she started everything by not, you know, going, hey, let's follow a protocol where if something happens, then we can either jump back mm -hmm. and prevent worse things from happening or open the dialogue and say, hey, 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 let's, mm -hmm. let's, 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 let's sit down <laughs> and break bread and, and, you know, mm -hmm. talk a little bit. And, um, you know, and, and instead of, and, you know, a bigger part of the message being, you know, don't cater to your pace or fears of just outright, okay, different therefore we kill mm -hmm. and you yeah. know go through go through this war and then you know just you know like everybody's saying you know let's just try to open the dialogue because at a certain point everything's everything's destroyed everything's doomed and mm -hmm. you know that's tomino going you know this is yeah. what war is eventually going to end as mm -hmm. you know and then of course we we get the idea that Ideon can be a you know un, a, you know the the trope of you know nuclear weapons for for japanese people in the anime mm -hmm. You know where you know this is here's the big destructive force do yep. we are we meant to have this are we supposed mm -hmm. to have this but ideon is you know throughout the whole thing is seems to be guided by something else mm -hmm. and it's doing it through these children for some yeah. god forsaken reason mm -hmm. and but at the end of it even though everybody's being wiped out you know both civilizations both planets both everything is wiped out and dead and killed mm. they are given a second chance together bringing both of the races together onto mm -hmm. this onto this one planet so you know it's it's almost like the archetype thing you know it's mm. where everyone gets wiped out god decides okay i think you all suck yeah so i'm just gonna wipe everything out mm -hmm. and we're gonna start over again and yeah. that's what Ideon feels like to me. It's, it's not mm -hmm. not necessarily biblical, but basically right. it's going, you it's know, flood. some yeah, just this other power just like this is the tool I'm gonna use to tell mm -hmm. people you all suck and we need to start this over yeah. again. Um Doba, who I just looked up is the name of the Supreme Commander of the Buffalo military, the, the guy with the awesome beard. Um <laughs> he he makes the statement that the um the Ideon is all about karma. Uh, the Ide Force is trying to sort. It's trying to find people who lack karma, basically, um, who are who are free of karma. Um, and the problem being that you know, if you have any knowledge of, of of Buddhism and such, is that we all have karma um, by making any choices. The only people who don't have karma are, of course, very old children, uh, right? Yeah. Um, which opens the very interesting question of how they actually created Ideon and what's inside Ideon, if not a whole bunch of children. But moving beyond that one. Um, oh, God. I just kind of just like a yeah, bunch of, like, of like millions of screaming baby souls in there. Going, <laughs> ah, we are stealing the thing. Let us out. <laughs> God, it's horrific. Yeah. Um, but Meanwhile, the toy manufacturer is going, yes, yes, it's made for children of children. <laughs> oh, children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And in fairness, we, we, you know, we, we get the hint that, well, actually, we, we don't know that. I was going to say everyone gets reborn, but they get reborn to repopulate the other planet, not to fuse with Ideon. Yeah. Um, right. But uh, point being, like, the, the reason everyone's, um, you know, fighting is because they have this, this buildup of karma it prevents them from actually changing, from actually growing, from actually forgiving. Uh, they're just set in their ways. Um, I don't know if he's right, but I think it's an interesting sort of interpretation that this is all because folks are stuck. You know, to your point, John, as well. Um, you know, that's the that's the that's kind of the goal. Here's the other question: um, Are the are the humans in the Buff Clan the U.S. and Japan? Well, Buff Clan is definitely Japanese. Right. Um, you know, I mean, they, 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 well, the English, well, one of the dub versions uses the word, mm -hmm. uses a lot of Japanese words, right. samurai and stuff like that. But, like, if you look at the Japanese declaration of war, it's, we don't want a war. We're just being pushed around by the U.S. and we have to fight, right? 
Um, that was yeah. very much the the justification of you know we have this 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 giant power that's sort of pushing us around, and we have to defend ourselves. Well, I don't, I don't know, know. I, because at the beginning of all this, they they they're talking about well, what happens? Well, we kind of know about these people, and they're kind of mm -hmm. like us if they're level they got they nobody knows oh. anything about each other, so it's not really right. that anybody's pushing against each other. It's just that mm -hmm. they just they just don't they just don't know, mm -hmm. and you know they uh, uh, and you know like the the Buff Clan was saying you know to Crawl and saying, hey, go in this gently because we. We mm -hmm. really don't know that much, so we really don't know mm -hmm. what what's going to happen here. And she goes, like, "It's fine. Don't worry about nothing. Well, what what, what, I, what could happen?" So I don't think that there's necessarily that 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 you know one is pushing the other one. Well, and I, 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 I don't think that that that, that setup is a one to one correspondence. Yeah, right. um, I, I completely agree. Like that that doesn't match at all. Um, yeah. But the positioning of the two against each other in a war. Does have some interesting parallels, where you've got oh, right, yeah. Buff Clan on one side of the galaxy, mm. uh, Earth on the other side, and this sort of meeting zone mm. where the idiot is. Ah, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I, 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 I feel that a lot of the nuclear boogeyman that Steve mm. had brought up, where it's, yeah. you know, this superpower whether it be a robot or whether it be yeah. you know the nuclear genie that once you let it out everybody loses yeah, yeah. um I, I think that definitely tracks um but yeah i don't i don't know i, never, I hadn't thought about that because yeah. you know you could easily say in world war ii there was it, you know on on both sides there was a lot of aircraft carriers a lot of planes a lot of parody Mm -hmm. That yeah, some weapon systems were not one to one comparison, but a lot mm -hmm. of parity that kind of made it an even race, mm -hmm. and just a few things tipped the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, oh, I don't know, I hadn't thought of that. That yeah. that being a you know, a Japan USA kind of thing. And, and to be clear, um, I bring this up because people believe that. Every